Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. It's been a while since I've made a plan with me video. I'm sorry about that. However, with my kids off school and because of some technical difficulties, I decided to take a month or two off. But I'm glad I'm back and it's finally time for me to share with you my bullet journal monthly setup for October. I have a confession to make. I didn't use my bullet journal in August and most of September and I have to say that my productivity was highly affected. I really missed planning in it and being organized with all my to-do lists. So I'm more than ready to start using it again. The theme I went with for October is mushrooms. I find mushrooms cute and very tasty and I'm really happy with the way my pages turned out. As always, we start with the cover page of the month. For the front page, I decided to create a mushroom house and lots of little mushrooms around it. I got inspired by the amazingly talented Manka Kasha. I can literally get lost in her drawings. I highly suggest that you check her work out. She's an amazing artist. I love how the front page turned out and I'm glad that I didn't use the traditional warm colors that you usually associate with autumn. Instead, I've opted for more cool blues and grays. For the coloring, I only use my Tombow markers as watercolors. You can check all the supplies that I've used in the description below. Next comes my monthly spread. I use my usual grid for the monthly layout and I've also added a to-do list on the left for each week. I like it when I'm able to allocate specific tasks for each week of the month. I find that I am more productive and that I'm actually getting things done this way. I'm using a Dingbats notebook and its square is 7x7. Seven seven. I've also added lots of mushrooms and a shy little hedgehog at the bottom of the page. Moving on to the first weekly spread of the month. I decided to use a new layout that I got inspiration from the lovely Boho Berry, but I've made some changes and I've adjusted it to suit my day-to-day -day needs.
As you can see, I made a mistake with the days. In order to fix it, I just struck through it and added the right day on top. I remember in my first year that I've started using my bullet journal, I would have been devastated with this mishap. However, nowadays it doesn't bother me that much. How do you deal with mistakes in your bullet journal? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested, I have two blog posts talking all about mistakes and ways to fix them. I'll leave the links in the description below. And that's my setup for October in my bullet journal. I hope you like the theme and that you found some inspiration. Let me know in the comments below what theme you've chosen for this month. Thanks for watching.